hi welcome to this video if you are not subscribed i encourage you to subscribe like and share we are looking at the shame pressure lead code series and are currently in the 17th video which is the binary search now we are skipping the 16th because it is locked by lead code so if we open it we see that it's actually locked and we can't access it so that is why we'll be skipping the 16th, which is meeting rooms, and going to the 17th, which is uh, the binary search. So let's get into the video now. Now, we are given that an array norms, which is sorted in an ascending order, and an integer target. So we are given an array of integer call norms, and we are given a target, and we are told to write a function to search targets in norms. So we are to check if targets exist in norms. And if it exists, then we return the index. Okay, so it's the index we need to return. Otherwise, we return minus one, meaning there was no index. It, it doesn't exist. So you must write an algorithm in log n run com, runtime complexity. So for example, we are given the target is nine. And 9 is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is in index 4. So that is why. So we return 4 as the output. While here, target is 2. Okay, and when we look through the list, we don't have 2 there. So definitely it's going to be minus 1. So that's why the output is negative 1. So we are given that all the integers in norms are unique. Okay, so we, we are guaranteed that it's always going to be unique. Oh. And we are told that norms is sorted in ascending order. Ascending order meaning that it's going from the smallest to the biggest. Okay. And you know it's being stated here also that it's sorted in ascending order. Okay. So let's just look at how we'll go about solving this. And then we'll now look at how to optimize it to log n. So here we are given an array. Uh, minus 1. And let's say 0. 4. 6. 8, 9, 17. So this is an array we are given, and we are told that we need to find, we will be given a target. So let's ex a, a, imagine our target. Our target is 9 in the first instance. So it means what we could do is we could start from here and go through it, check, we ask, is this, is this uh, 9? It is not. So we move to the next. Is this 9? No. So we move to the next. Is this 9? No. We move to the next. We move to the next. And there we find 9. I'll say, okay, this is 9. And so we can say index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we can return index 6. So that is one approach we could follow. Well, you know, we are told, and this, when it run, it will go in O of N time complexity. Or, you know, we are told to try and solve this in uh, N in log N. Time that means log n time now, meaning that it's halves, it goes halfway. That's what log log means you are going and you are slicing it half, 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 or by a factor every time. That's basically so. What we could use here now, given that we have one, zero, four, six, eight. 9 17 and we are guaranteed that this is going to be in a sorted order and that we don't have a duplicate value so what we could do is we are looking for number nine so if i divide this so we have seven items here let's say i divide it into two let's say this is where we have this i divide it into this so we have minus one on one side zero four six on one side and we have eight nine and 17 on the other side my target is nine don't forget so the question i will ask myself is is the last item here is it nine is it less than or greater than nine or is this greater than less than or equals to nine so for example six is six is nine for example nine is it less than six no it is greater than six and it's not equals to six so that means we know that definitely since it is not on this side it means it is definitely on this side so what we can do is we can ignore everything on this side and focus on just 8, 9, and 17. So we can ask again, 
okay we divide into two again so let's say we divide into two this way so we have eight and nine on this side and we have 17 on this side so it asks nine is nine what we have on this side yes nine is what we have so we know that this is we have found our item nine now so but the problem is we need to keep track of the indexes so we know at this point we know that we are at the beginning we are at zero index zero between index zero one two three four five six to index six but at this point we know we knew that we had cut off zero one two three so we are left with four five and six those were the indexes we are left with so starting from four to six was what we we are left with when we divide into two again we are checking this particular index this particular index where we are now is going to be between four and six which is going to be uh, in, in between us that's five so if we check in the five we now saw that that was where our value was so we know definitely the index is index five so what of a scenario where we don't have the item so let's have it again so we have minus one zero four six eight nine and seventeen and let's say we are looking for five so we divide it into two again so we have minus one zero four six and we have eight nine and seventeen on this other side we ask ourselves is five more than six no so it's less than six so definitely we are looking at it on this side it means five is definitely on this side and cannot be on this side because everything here is definitely going to be more than five and we know our index is which it was zero to six is no more going to be zero to six it's now going to be zero all the way to one two three to three so we can now come again we split this into two we have minus one and zero here we have four and six here and so we're asking two is what we are looking for is two more than zero yes it is more than zero so we know definitely we are moving on to this side that means this does not exist i mean this is not where we can find our data so we are left with index two and three and then we we'll divide this into two now we have four and six so we now ask is two more than four because that's what we're so it's two more than four no two is not more than four so it means that we are definitely going to check this side this two cannot be on this side so we are left with just one item which is just going to be four and then since it's only four we can just check is this is this value the same as two no it's not so we know that definitely our item is not there and we can return minus one as our answer because two does not exist in that so you've noticed that for each time we are cutting our uh, the number of the numbers into two so for example at this point we had cut off this three at this point we've cut off this two at this point so at every point we are going cutting half 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 and that is why we have log n because uh, when we have log n it means that we are going um, it could be quarter it could be half it could be one third but we keep consistently cutting it half half or quarter 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 as we are going so here it's going to be a log n and you see how many times do we need to check this we need to just check it so you see this is the item we are giving so we checked here one we checked here two we checked here three and then we checked here four and that was all we just need to we need to just do four checks as opposed to if we had the seven items i was to go through one two three four five six seven i will have gone through seven iterations because i have to go through each of them one by one by one by one by one by one so worst case here is that i will i will have gone through seven operations here but here i will just need to go through four operations so log n is what we have here which is as you can see four is almost half of seven iterations so that's basically the approach we will use to solve this problem so let's get to the board on lead code and see how we can put that all right so here we are and i know that i have i as i said earlier that we so we will have a left and then we have another point on the right which will be at the end of our race so minus one and you know what we want to do is we want to keep iterating until we find it or until it's no more so if you go back to the board you skip seeing that my left so let's say let me just 
clear this board a little and just clear this so that we can have some space to so here we have uh let's say we have zero one two three let me just make it a small sample and we are looking for let's say okay let me make it yes let's say and we're looking for five for example so we divide it into two we have remember this index zero and this is index four sorry three on divide into two we find out that this five is more than and and one so definitely we are going this side so if we cancel this it means we are now going to our our index should no more be on zero our left index should now move to two so we have index two and three so on index two and three we have two and three we divide this into two again and we ask ourselves is five more than these two yes it's more than two so we know definitely we are going on the right so it means our index has to move here so we are all on index three index so both my left and my right so my left and my right you know the, we have the right pointer and the left pointer both of them will now be on three and the value there is actually three we now ask ourselves uh is this equals to um five no so you know what will happen is that our left will go forward because five is greater than this right so left will go forward and left will become four and y right will remain at three so we find that, that so we know that when my left has gone beyond the right that it means i'm out of options that means it's not possible to find it was unable to find it so the, the reason i'm explaining this is because now if we go back to here it means that we are to continue this while our right is more than or equals to the left as soon as my left becomes more than the right i know that i'm out of bounds and in fact at that point i can just return negative one because i know that it's no more going to be possible so but what i want to do is i want to see uh if so you know the middle point so for example let me the middle point so let's just have something called middle point is going to be the sum of my right and left divided by two so if we go back to the board and look at this so how do we know so for example this was index zero and this is index three if i sum zero and three up it's going to be three divided by two is going to be index one so i know that that is what will bring me to this index so this is going to be my middle here i'll be checking this and i'll ask this way i'll be asking the question so if i go back now to uh, so what we'll be asking now is so if my middle point if i've got my middle point i want to just ask if so if my norms are that middle point if it's equals to the target then i know that yes i've gotten to what i'm looking for and then so i can just return middle point because that, that's the index that we found it but else if we did not find it so we have to check is the if the middle point if what we have in the middle point if it is uh, less than my target you know if it's less than what we are trying to get for example maybe nine for example then it means i need to shift my left forward so it means that target is more than where we are so you know if you remember when we come back here when the target which is for example five here when it was more than one we moved our left to two so it moved from zero here i mean from index zero here to two and two is going to be where my middle was i just one to it so that's why you see uh we did that here so we see mid plus one but if it's the other way around then i know that it's my right i'm supposed to move and then I'll just go one below the mid because I've checked the mid already to see and we are sure at this point we've already checked the middle middle point so there's no point moving it to mid middle so basically I think this will just do for us because so we are already checking if it is if we find the target we are returning it but if we don't find the target we are now moving either the left or the right pointer accordingly let's see this and see how it goes here okay so we have an error here it says that mid does not oh okay sorry we are using middle sorry so the middle point and we have our middle point here so let's run this again okay let's submit and see okay and it works so as we can see that 
what this means for us is that each time when we have a sorted list, we can use the binary search. Now, it's important to understand this because this has vast applications, but it can only be applied when we have a, a, a pattern of sorts. If it's not a sorted list, then we cannot actually use binary search because the what we are leveraging on with binary search is that we know that uh, it's going in a particular order. And so based on that order, we can predict if it's on the left or on the right. But where there is no sort order, it's not sorted, then we cannot just use the binary search. This is very key in the binary search algorithm. I hope this was helpful and I hope that we enjoyed this video. Please, if we did, please let's subscribe, let's like and watch and let's share. If you have any questions or clarifications or you need any clarifications, please drop it in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.